welcome to all today we are going to learn another important duopoly oligopoly model of chamberlain we'll discuss in detail one by one now here in this model quite different from the kurnots and the edgeworth even britain model so his model is based on that the oligopolist recognize their interdependence and act accordingly so according to him oligopolist behave quite intelligent and they recognize their, their interdependence and learn from the experience that they find that the action in fact cause the rival to react and adjust their output level this is a very important assumption which assumed by chamberlain so they recognize their interdependence in a could not model in veteran model and uh, even edgeworth model so this uh, quite uh, different uh, in then their assumption and of course the chamberlain considered the cause of duopoly with the zero cost of production this is one same and the two producers of the a and b like could not see also assume that market demand curve for the both the product is linear in this realization of mutual dependence on the part of oligopolies leads to monopoly output being produced see their dependence are recognized and that's why they producing uh, there is a monopoly output jointly and the, again the charging the monopoly price very high price in this way according to chamberlain maximization of joint profits and stable equilibrium are achieved so this is maximization of joint profit they are understand that they are mutually dependents and that's why they are earning the maximum joint profit and of course there is a stable equilibrium by oligopolist even they are not acting they are acting in a non collusive manner but still they are earning the maximization profit let us understand with the help of the graph now here in this graph we will discuss in the vertical axis it represent the price and the horizontal axis uh, represent the output now here uh, the demand curve of course it's a linear is a md is a market demand curve for a homogeneous product of the duopolist now firm a enter into the market and fix in the price that is the uh, in the that is uh, m uh, that is the demand curve available that is the md is the demand curve for this mr a is the marginal revenue curve of the that is a uh, duopolist uh, of the uh, firm a now here uh, in order to maximize his profit he should equate marginal revenue to the marginal cost so and produces oq of output this is the maximum uh, that is a uh, oq level of output produces and the half of the od that is a demand uh, that is half of the, uh, the uh, demand curve that is od which is in fact the mutual output uh, that is uh, it is the monopoly output sorry it is the monopoly output and the price is op that the price is fixed by the form 1 now as the form 2 enters the remaining e and d is a demand curve is available for the form b and the revenue curve is mrb is available now the total market available is qd is a total market is available uh, that is uh, uh, that is qd out of that they produce of that is a ql of output and fix the price of lk is a price that is fixed by the uh, form b who enters into the market so which is half of the market which is available to the form b in that there is a ql Uh, qd is the market available half ql they produces and the lk is a uh, price that is fixed now we know that up to this is a kurnot solution which we discussed in the previous model 
now you know that they are in their they understand the interdependence as I already said they they understand the mutual dependence on the oligopolist which is leads to being produced output being produced jointly and charging monopoly uh, that is a uh, price now here they acting as very intelligently and they know that they are interdependence so and again a firm a producer is learned from experience that they are interdependence so producer a decide to produce output of oh that is a half of the monopoly output equals to 2l of the producer b is a half of the output of oq so oh of maximum output produced by the uh, firm a ql of amount which is equals to aggregate output of oq that is half of the market is a out of qd maximum output in that half of the oq of the output they are produced both so this half ql and oh equals to oq is the uh, half of the output they produced and they set the price maximum monopoly price that is a op this is how they realize and they are earning the they uh, they uh, they pro they are fixing the though they are not they are fixing the maximum price and the producing uh, half of the market output quite intelligently they are acting though they don't have any formal collusion but still they are acting as very intelligently i will see a uh, criticism part of the uh, theory now here it is an quite different from the classical theory of duopoly oligopoly firm so here firms have full information about the market demand and quickly learn from the experience since these are the two duopolists and they are learn quickly learn and adjust and the and according to that they will fix the price and the monopoly uh, price and the output they are producing so it is a quite uh, it is criticized based on this it is there is no we don't have any kind of market demand available so oligopolists fully know the cost of production of their rivals which enable them to arrive at a monopoly output and the price since the cost of production is differs in that it's very difficult to uh, know the cost of production of the each rivals in that case again we uh, criticized and again another important criticism is that though in the formal collusion also there are some kind of differences among the oligopolist but here there is no any formal collusion but still they are intelligently act they are going to adjust and they are going to uh, get the uh, maximum profit so that is once again we criticize and again this model ignores the entry of new firms and thus it is a closed model so when the firms enter into the market so then totally the total output and other aspect will be change now we can say that one due to the attraction of monopoly profit which is jointly earned by existing firm the new firms likely to enter into the industry which the entry of new firms the attainment of stable equilibrium is a stable equilibrium of oligopoly is not likely to be occurred so that is how they criticize the uh, oligopoly model of chamberlin that's all about the chamberlin uh, duopoly oligopoly model thank you all thank you for watching